The guy came in in the ER and he's like, this is life threatening. If you had gotten that and you were an overweight, out of shape guy, you, you might, you, is this something that you die from? So like, you know, if you're, if you're pretty good at primal uh, flow, then you're ready, you're ready to advance on to, to something a little bit more challenging. I think it's, I think personally, it's a, it's a great uh, program for longevity as well as, as health and well-being and fitness and performance. Michael Bradley. Um, two things I want to say. Wow. Well, hey, everybody. How are you? It's now officially 11 o'clock and we're, uh, I'm here with Michael Bradley. And uh, I don't know if everybody knows, Michael and I were just chatting about it. I don't know if you know what's going on with Michael, but... Um, he's got bacterial meningitis and he was in and out of the hospital twice, six days at a pop. He's got a IV going through his arm into his heart. He's got to put his own medication in. He's lost a bunch of weight. He's weak. He's ugly. He's incredible. <laughs> he's probably as ugly as he's ever been in my life. I've never seen such a more hideous Shrek looking human being in my life. <laughs> and <laughs> Shell can't even look at you. <laughs> and, um, but dude, what, a, I mean, I can't imagine if you had gotten that and you were an overweight, out of shape guy, you, you might, you, is this something that you die from? You can die. From? Yeah. Yeah. The, the guy came in, in the ER and, and he wasn't like, he wasn't very like, uh, what do you call it? Didn't have a very good bedside manner. He's like, this is life threatening. You could, uh, you could die. You could get, uh, in a number of hours or you could, uh, have permanent brain damage. Um, so we're going to transfer you by ambulance to a, a facility that handles this sort of thing um so apparently it's pretty serious um and it can happen well, you, the thing is you had you had brain damage before you even got it so there's that <laughs> yeah i know they're like uh testing me and, and i'm like don't worry that's that was that way it's been that way for years <laughs> ever since i got dropped when i was a kid so so it's ever, fine. Ever, ever since that time you do <laughs> parkour and you hit your face on a curb <laughs> But I think yeah. you probably still have you probably still have some dirt in there that probably caused the yeah whole. it might be it might be some dirt right and it actually they were they were because my face I don't know why but it was like kind of swollen I guess for the infection and they're like is this part of that and I was like no that's just a that's just when I landed on a curb with my forehead so don't worry about that well I mean dude I mean I, you were originally supposed to be here and we were going to do a fun workout together and I was going to my butt handed to me and everything else but the fact that you've you know been through hell and back i was telling michael everybody that you know he's just trying to beat my ramsey hunt story but okay <laughs> you you win <laughs> um well man i'm just i'm so glad to see your face and you know as my fake son um we just love you dude and and i, I know that could not have been an easy thing for you at all especially because you're always on the go and you're the strongest human being and most athletic human being i've ever met in my life that's true that's true. <laughs> that's the humor still there. <laughs> that's fab, man. Um. Anyway, what? Anyway, so we'll chat more about that, you know, when when I see you next. But uh, I invited Michael to come skiing with me in a oh, whatever eleven days, and he's still not going to be able to do it. What a loser! But <clears throat> hurry I'll up still and be deal. pumping uh, drugs into my uh, right, 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 yeah. Instead of lunch, you'll just be like, you know, sticking the. Yeah. Let me eat lunch real quick and then I'll be yeah. like, <laughs> I'm good. Um, but the main reason why we're here and we're so excited, man. And, you know, your stuff has been so incredibly popular on the platform, um, you know, partly because it's so unusual and so different. And, um, you know, a lot of people are still kind of discovering animal flow and what that is. And and I'm a dev devotee now, too. You know, I used to do just plyo Wednesday nights. And now we're mixing, you know, uh, plyo and animal flow. I've created, I've kind of altered that routine a little bit. Um, since I've been back from Jackson, though, I've been trying to get my legs with it, just a plyo, but we're going to get back to the animal flow because it seems, it's, look at Mary, she's so excited. Um, and and I really do like 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 yoga, like Pilates, like any kind of mobility, flexibility kind of stuff. It, uh, in my opinion, uh, it's as a fountain of youthy as it can be. You know, and and there's a skill level there. There's a learning curve there. There's, but there's so much athleticism in it, and and there's so much mobility in it, so much flexibility in it. So if you don't mind, um, can you kind of talk a little bit about, uh, you know, why this program, um, Primal Evolution, 
I believe is the name of it, um, has kind of the next level stuff compared to what the, the animal flow program you did the first time. Like sort of just just talk about it and how you created it and 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 et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, for sure. So I wanted to kind of because I it seems like people on the platform uh, really enjoy like the, the animal movement stuff, you know what I mean? So I wanted to give people an opportunity to kind of take it to the next level sort of thing. So uh, primal evolution is a little, I would say it's a, it's kind of like if you were in college, it'd be like uh, you would need a prerequisite to take primal evolution sort of type deal. You know what I mean? So, so like, you know, if you're, but if you're pretty good at primal uh, flow um, or like um, uh, what's the, the primal method one, I, I, uh, wild animals or whatever it is, um, yeah. th then you're ready, you're ready to advance on to, to something a little bit more challenging. So, there's a little bit harder moves. There's a little bit more like linking moves together type deal, um, throwing maybe some uh, kind of like some explosive movements into an animal movement or something like that. So um, I just want to kind of make it like a, a next level challenge. So people continue to change like their proprioceptive ability um, and their cognition along with like, you know, getting more fit or losing body weight, things like that. So hopefully that, that, works hopefully we get that in that program but uh i guess time will tell in the next couple months to see if people enjoy it um well done thank you so <laughs> so you know um can you talk if you can remember because i know this this meningitis kind of fried parts of your brain <laughs> but <laughs> yes. but uh but you know it's not just animal flow like you know like there's i believe what do we have are there six six workouts in this one again is that what i think there i think I'm trying to remember, more. but I think there's eight. Right. Uh, I'm pretty sure that there's eight. Um, and then uh, I want to make another, uh, another like short routine or something just to throw in there, like for month two or so. I just haven't been able to because I've been in the ICU. Uh, I know that's a lame excuse, but uh, what I'll you know. do. Yeah, <laughs> I know it's stupid, it's stupid. Um, but yeah, I think there's eight. So. You got like a, you got like kind of like a leg routine. Um, you got a, a few, a few full body routines. I wanted to put in like just some kind of like um, muscle building hypertrophy routine. So there's like a shoulders and arms type deal yeah, and a yeah. push pull um, yeah. and a yoga and yeah. uh, abs. Tony and uh, Tony and Brian were in the abs. They had, a, they had a good time there. Yeah. And the one thing I wanted to say about this one is not that the first one wasn't well-rounded, you know, like you said, it was an introductory program to kind of get people on the ground and, you know, learn, learning what bear, learning what beast, learning what crab, learning what frogger, all these different things were, how to transition from one to the other. And there's plenty of that in the new one, obviously. But the but the yoga one, you know, this just your style of yoga is is kind of unique and special. And I really I really enjoy it. It's very athletic, obviously. And then and then, you know, the, then the push and pull routine and the in the in the in the, uh, you know, the other resistance hypertrophy type stuff. You know, um, you're really good with, you know, using dumbbells, but people could use kettlebells in some of these movements too, as well, if they have them at home. Um, and I, I think it's one, I think it's your, you know, not the other one wasn't great because it is because it was so popular, but this is next level and it's a graduation of sorts. And, and um, it's fun to be there watching you do your thing. Like, you know, we're always looking at like, you know, we're behind the cameras watching Michael and Sean look at each other like, how in the world has he been able to do that? <laughs> Um, and, 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 and that's, you know, and what I, what I love about you and what you did, you know, especially as a, as an aging athlete is that you forced me to continue to force me to work on my weaknesses and have to learn how to do something new. And, uh, you know, I mean, a lot of people are still in the gym and I know I sound like a broken record here. They're lifting weights and they're doing cardio. Like, oh, what is this? 1973, you know, we're, there's so much new cool stuff, but you're going to suck at it for a bit you know what i mean and if you're okay with sucking at stuff and understanding that that's where the magic is as opposed to doing the same old things you've always been doing because that's what got you started in the first place and it helped you a lot and and then you know you're going to have that that boredom uh boredom injury and plateau thing from same old same old so um that's why i think it's it's really amazing man yeah i wanted to give like you know an element of you're gonna suck but you're gonna you're gonna get better but at the same time because sometimes you know like when you're just like trapped you know when your legs are destroyed and you, you feel like you have to do all these functional movements every day um i wanted to give those you know those days where it's like oh i can just hit my arms and shoulders today 
and get like a, a, a good pump and build some muscle, you know what I mean? So a little bit less like, you know, math equations in your head and you're just pumping iron. Um, I wanted to throw a little bit more of that in there this time around, just so people would have a break from like full body, you know, nervous system shot experience every day. And they could, uh, you know, just throw some weights around and, and, uh, you know, see some results, you know? So, so hopefully there's kind of a little bit of a balance of, of those two there. I think so. And, and, and because of that, because there's the, there's stuff people know and there's stuff that people have to learn and get better at, um, you know, you know, whatever, I, I think that a lot of folks who experience your program are just going to see changes in their body, you know, that they've never seen before, you know? Like, oh, I got like parts of my traps are getting worked and my rhomboids are getting worked, uh, my intercostal muscles, my my tush, you know, I mean, a lot of people, they get fit and there's sort of this sameness about the way they look. Um, and this is going to activate some never been used before muscles just purely because of what it is, you know. Um, and also, and the, oh, sorry, the last sorry, thing I'll say is the, the range of motion stuff. This, your program yeah. forces people to massively increase their range of motion on every single muscle, tendon, and ligament in their body. You know what I mean? And that's that's more fountain of youth stuff, in my opinion. What were you gonna say? That's what I was gonna say is like, um, not only like you're feeling different muscles, but your feet, like all of a sudden you're like, whoa, I can squat, you know, six inches deeper than I used to be able to squat. Mm -hmm. Or I can, uh, you know, I can palm the ground or, you know, things that like you, you weren't, didn't used to be able to do, um, but you can now, um, th I think this, this program really helps with those, with those things. So. Dude, so good. Um, what I want to do now is cause we kind of gave ourselves about a half an hour here. I don't want to take up too many people's time. It is the weekend and Easter weekend and whatnot, but, um, uh, did anybody have any, any questions for Michael? I, let me see what I have here. Holy smokes. Well, now that explains the cancellation of the ordinary proposal. That was Zoom. Okay. I don't know what that's about. Um, <laughs> Love you, Michael, from Hannah. There's Hannah right there. Love you too, Hannah. On. Look at all the books behind Hannah. She's no dummy. There's a lot of, if she read all those things, you know, it's all inside this little brain of hers, which is kind of cool. <laughs> um, cannot wait by far my favorite program anywhere. Yes. Yes. Uh, adjacent to Power of Four. Oh, thank God. Who wrote that? Jeez, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> They're just being nice. I was about to go slip my wrists, okay? <laughs> uh thank you so much uh still has trouble getting his brain and body around the transformer from wild animals here's michael bradley talk about uh chaining moves together it concludes primal uh and teaching us break dancing what is that from dan i don't know what that means um yeah i'm reading that one too oh sorry no math jason stuck uh, stuck in my <laughs> that's funny uh take all the time uh, you're brilliant, dude, from Hannah. Hannah must love you, dude. <clears throat> Don't tell your wife. Yeah. I think Hannah's We've just expanded this to an eight-hour eight hour discussion. So, uh, Any questions? Put up the little... Oh, is that you? <laughs> Shell, fire away. You, you can open up your mic and, and ask. I've got all the questions. Um, how long are the workouts? Good question. Okay. Um, I would say the workouts are somewhere around... I think the shortest one was the ab one, and that was like 20 minutes or something like that. Um, and, and then the longest one is probably less than an hour. The animal one might go a little bit because I, I kind of talk a fair amount, like explaining things. But um, I, I'd say on average, they're about 40 to 45 minutes, and 37 to 52 AMRAPs? minutes and 17 seconds. <laughs> will What's there be any help? AMRAPs, like AMRAPs in that one, in these ones too? Um, I can't remember, actually if there's AMRAPs or not. I know that there's like, there's there's challenges. So like, you know, you do okay. the, you do your sets and reps and then it's like, here's your burnout round type deal. Okay. Um, Cause I know, I know everybody's been saying they love the AMRAPs and I'm like, oh shoot, did I, did I put any AMRAPs? In? <laughs> but I know that there's some, like every workout has challenges, so. Okay. Um, and, and from Tim, he wants to know how come you're so darn good looking? Stand. Uh, how well, can you Tim? stand it? How can you stand being so darn good looking? Oh, how can oh, I stand oh. it? Okay. I was going to say, it, much I, like I, I, you look that good today. I was I don't born this that way. good today. Looks so <laughs> worn out. <laughs> um, um, you know, sometimes I can't stand it. I actually had to, <laughs> at one point in my life, I had to remove the mirrors out of my house um, because I was just getting so frustrated looking at such beauty. Um, 
it got me upset with the art that I had spent so much money on. And it was ugly in comparison. But, um, you know, I just sort of oh embraced it at this point. <laughs> Tim said he had the same problem. So he <laughs> understands. I couldn't, yeah. when we were at the, uh, when we were in Jackson, I just couldn't stop looking at Tim. I don't know if you noticed, but <laughs> I would just watch. I was a little jealous, but, you know. <laughs> What can you do? Boy, boy, is this conversation going sideways <laughs> fast. Holy crap. I'll um, let somebody else ask a question. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, just listening to Michael, like the, the apple hasn't fall far from the fake tree. Uh, that's <laughs> for sure. Uh, Michael, fire away, dude. What do you got? <clears throat> hey, uh, how much space is this going to use, especially for the uh, animal flow sections? That's a, that's a great question. Um, I would say relatively close to what you would need for the first one, the uh, primal method. Um, I mean, obviously the more space, the better, because then you could you could cover more ground, which is which is cool. Um, but I mean, you could make it work in like a small space, like, you know, something like a prison cell if you're incarcerated <laughs> for the next 10 years or something like that. It, it looks like Michael is call, uh, talking to us from a prison cell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is it. This is All my right, you're I'm Michael, here, you're busted. I'm home in you're Austin, busted, Texas. Dude. What's that? You're, I said you're busted. What did you say about Texas? Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> I said I'm home in Austin, Texas. All right. Well, okay. Texas, well, Texas, Texas is, is a very large state. You can cover yeah. a lot of ground. You know? Yeah, it's not like you're in Rhode Island or something like that. So. Yeah, yeah. I can, you know, you can barely move in Rhode Island. That's where I was born. I was, yeah. I was born in a shoebox and lived in one for many years. <laughs> um, and and to to add to Michael's uh, answer there. You know, you just, you can do it in a tiny six by six space, or you can, you know, obviously if you have more room, you can really kind of get more dynamic with it. But, you know, don't let the size of the space throw you because you could just, you know, you just do more comp compact versions. You know what I mean? Um, uh, you know, any movement getting down, Rhode Island baby here. Hannah, that's right, I forget you're Rhode Island. <laughs> yeah. How are you, have any beers today? Or whatever those guys? Because that's, are you from Cranston? Or are you from, where are you from? Providence? Uh, all my friends talked like this. <laughs> they weren't New York. They weren't Boston. They were roadie. Um, anyway, well, I digress again. But Do yeah. you have a, are you Connecticut accent or are you Rhode Island? Connecticut doesn't have an accent, my friend. Oh, okay. It's somehow missed out on on the missing R's and the additional R's that come from uh, New York and Boston. I've noticed um, Connecticut people say hundred, hundred. Hundred, hundred. Yeah, like they don't say the last D, they just say hundred. I got a hundred golf balls or whatever. Yeah, uh, and then I kept saying spatula. Sean is like, "What word is that? What did you say it's spatula." <laughs> so yeah, there's. Wait a minute. I guess Connecticut did have one because our part of Connecticut in the right next to New York, like Connecticut's a big, looks like an upside down pot, got a little handle at the bottom. We lived inside that handle, and we were very New York. Oh, cool. Um, Let's see what other questions we have here. Uh, where should I start to do your prime? Oh, good question here from uh, Janine. Where should I start then? Do your first program first, then do your new one? I would say yes to that, yeah. That's a good question. And I think that um, I would probably say yes to that. But Tony was, when we were filming, because I'm horrible, I'm horrible at this, of, of giving like um, uh, modifications but tony was like super anal about like hey you gotta make a modification for this you gotta make a modification so i i'd say that it's 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 probably doable to do it you know primal evolution right out of the box you just have to you might have to modify some stuff um but by all means you could for sure do you know uh, do the first program kind of get that down a little bit and then it'd be a lot easier transition to go into the to the second one but we do have a i mean we did uh, put together quite a few modifications for primal evolution so yeah our, our power downs are there our stop options are there as per usual you know because power downs. those those inspire and motivate people to you know at least get in the game um but yeah i i mean look if you feel like you're pretty athletic and you know what i mean and you've got a uh, <clears throat> olympic gymnastic background you're, you're good to go um, but if you don't have that, I would certainly say start with the first one, get familiar with the movements, you know, just, you know, it's like with yoga, I didn't know Shavasana from Baddha Konasana from Warrior One to Down Dog, you, you know what I mean? And so when I took a yoga class, I took a beginner class so I could learn what these things are. And, and, and uh, you know, and even then my head was on a swivel looking around like, okay, what is that? What are they doing? <clears throat> and at first it was a little bit frustrating and this might be as well. 
Um, but don't let that get to you. I mean, don't let, you know, don't judge any of that. The journey is, the journey is supposed to be complicated. You know what I mean? If the journey is relatively easy, then you're not learning a whole lot. You know what I mean? You're not, you're not going through the, you know, I've, I've used this metaphor a lot, but you don't go from first grade to grad school. It just, it's important to sort of follow the steps and be okay and be patient, keep your expectations down and, and then you'll improve. The more you do, the better you get and do your best, forget the rest. I'll just keep saying the same crap over and over again, but it's true. <laughs> All right. Um, and I will say, I, I want to say one thing here is uh, even if you're, even if, uh, you know, you're not ready for it, doesn't mean you're going to get injured. You just might not, you know, be able to do some of like, you're not going to get injured if you start with primal evolution. It just might be more challenging because you're like, well, I can't do that. Can't do that can't do that you know but it's not like you're you know you're trying to snatch 300 pounds or you know do backflips off your roof or something like that so um it's just going to be easier if you have a little bit of foundation to build on uh, actually that but michael that's a great point like there's so many routines that are out there that maybe you're not physically ready for that can hurt you because the mm -hmm. weights are too heavy or or the movements are too dynamic or you don't have that range of motion this, this is just reintroducing playful stuff that kids can do easier than us. You know what I mean? Um, you're rolling around on the floor. You know what I mean? And it, some of it's a little complicated because like, you know, does the leg go over or does the leg go under? And then that's the sort of thing where you have to keep, you know, where those, those kinds of mistakes. And when I teach it here at my house, and you can ask Mary, that's sort of the kind of, Mary and I were like, I forget what the move was. We're trying to transition from. What was, the, what was the move of trying to transition from what to what, Mary? And I kept on cueing it wrong because you knew because you've been doing Michael's stuff. Can't hear you. <laughs> nope, nothing, Mayor. Ancient technology. You know why? Because you need to paint that little patch on the ceiling above your TV. Then everything. Will work. <laughs> I can't see anybody, so this is all <laughs> news to me. Every time I see Mary, I go, make that patch. Um, here's a great one from Dan underscore no underscore Chris. Will viewing access to primal evolution videos begin on Monday for everyone? Or I don't know if you know this answer or not. Maybe, maybe yeah, I don't know is here. Or will viewers of this mastermind possibly get early access this weekend? I'm chopping at the bit to see and prep for the new stuff. Face with hearts exploding. Monique, are you there or did she run away? I don't know if she knows the answer to that. She fell asleep, probably. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, rats. I wish I knew the answer. I, mean, I could run down and ask Shauna, but we're 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 filming um, Heather's instructional uh, Ashley's uh, instructional videos for her new program today. Oh. Um, yeah, yeah, it's really good, dude. You're so good at movement. I can't wait to see you try to pull her stuff off. It's it's something else. Um. Tutorials. Are there tutorials? But you're you're kind of tutorialing in the midst of, aren't you? Yeah, I mean, I I, I probably will make some tutorials, uh, just because people are always like, I've I've done Primal Flow 218 times, and I still can't do uh, Transformer or whatever. You know what I mean? So, and I have made in the past. I don't know if anybody watched them, but I've posted them like on the Facebook groups. Um. But uh, I mean, I'll, I'll probably send maybe maybe if we made some official tutorials like on Power Nation official tutorial, people would uh, be able to find them easier. Um, it's just it, it's they're hard movements, so it's kind of you know it it takes a while to get them down, especially when you're just watching it on screen because it's the mirror image of you, you know. So mm. maybe I could do some facing away, so you could get so Tim could watch my butt, and then I could do you know, whatever from there. That's, that's all he's ever wanted, Michael. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is, well, when I first got on before you all got on, you know, I, I hadn't, I, I called Michael a bunch of times, but I guess he was busy going in and out of the ICU and <laughs> going through, you know, uh, MRIs and, you know, and being pumped with drugs and stuff. I was, you know, so I understand that. But, um, we first spoke, you know, he's saying, I go, how are you doing? He goes, well, my brain isn't all the way there. And my, my voice is kind of messed up and I only can kind of go on hikes. I can't do a lot of the stuff and I've lost a bunch of weight. I'm just sitting here talking to you, dude. I don't, I don't notice your voice is fine. You're <laughs> still funnier than me, which pisses me off. 
<clears throat> but you know, whatever. Uh, so I'm glad to see you're on the men, man. I was, we were really scared for you there, man, because I know, you know, uh, you were trying to beat me in the who can be the sickest guy department. Um, it looks like you won. Uh, yeah, it's a it's a hard competition to win. You know, I know, I know. Uh, I'm going to read what da uh, Dash No Chris wrote here. The beta test tutorial video for the original Primal Flow workout was invaluable in learning beast side kick through and beast front kick through. So, so I think, I mean, based on even what Chris is saying here, or Dash or No is saying here, is that that first video series is kind of critical if they really want to maybe jump into the next one. Yeah, I mean, we do a lot of that stuff in the evolution, but, uh, you know, it'll be like a kick through with something added on, you know what I mean? So um, right. for sure, you know, go for the, there's there's nothing, so, I mean, you're going to make progress if you do either program. So you, you might as well start with the first one and then go to the next one or, or whatever. So yeah, um, yeah, those, those, those first uh, foundational movements are pretty critical. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Bev writes here, the step-by-step -step tutorials in the Facebook group were super helpful. So oh, know, those those are there. I'm assuming everybody can still access those, yeah? Thank um, you, Bev, for watching those things because people always ask me, why don't you make a tutorial? And I say, I did, but nobody knew. So. <laughs> and, now, and now they do know. They've been reminded. Um, Mary writes, it's so, all caps, S-O, good to see you. I'm really happy you're recovering nicely. So Mary is happy. Thank that, you, Mary. Uh, I'm I'm hoping that you recover more slowly so that I can get stronger <laughs> than you. This is yeah. my, my point of view. Uh, is Primal Evolution an eight-week calendar? Eight weeks feels like it's become a power, power of four's Goldilocks number for master trainer programs. Uh, From my understanding, yes, it is eight weeks. Um, yeah. So that's, I mean, that's what, uh, cause I was in, I was in the ICU and Mary needed to adjust the calendar and she did it herself, her and Shauna. <laughs> so, uh, so they probably know more than me at this point, um, what the, what the calendar looks like, but I believe it's eight weeks, um, first to second, or go, sorry. Go like that, Mary, cause we can't hear you go like that. Or if it's this, do that. Or if it's that, do that. Or if it's this. Do this. Just don't do any gang signs. Do this or that. I don't know. For eight weeks. And the one good thing about about the platform, and you know, I mean, I think everybody's doing that. Even I don't know if Beachbody is or other companies, but um, you know, it's all everything streaming. So we're you know we're doing all these hybrid stuff now. You know, we just put up the new Mary. That new hybrid routine is out. The one that you know, the one that Scott tried to do, but we changed it. You look confused. Yeah, yeah, I'm so sad we can't hear you. I don't know why. Um, so yeah, that's a great thing. So you'll get the original eight week calendar, and then you know, then we're gonna hybrid Michael's first one and the second one, and might throw in some power of four. You know what I mean? Always keep you on your toes. Muscle confusion is still real, <clears throat> even though it's not technically a real thing. Um, <laughs> my Arnold Schwarzenegger, muscle confusion. <clears throat> now I can't do my my. I, Neither can I, especially Chapa, right now. Chapa. No, muscle confusion is not a real thing. It's not. I know it's not. Arnold, relax. It's just a thing that we made up to describe what we were doing. So, <laughs> you know, whatever. Um, let's see here. Uh, if you have been doing uh, Primal Method, what is the biggest hurdle you'll face? These are great questions, Garrett. Uh, what is the biggest hurdle you'll face moving into Primal Evolution? If you have done the mm -hmm. other one. Well, that's, yeah, that's a good question. I mean, if you've been doing primal method, the hurdle should be getting smaller for primal evolution, in in my opinion. Mm -hmm. um, so it should be, you know, it, it should be an adjustment that is manageable. Like you're like, whoa, these moves are challenging, but thank goodness I already did primal method because I'm I'm ready to, to for the next challenge. So I'd say it shouldn't be too much of a hurdle into a uh, primal evolution if you've already done primal method um it will be quite a learning curve if you if you haven't done any you know animal movements you know you're going to be it's going to you know go up pretty quickly um that's that's how i'd answer that question so it's not the best answer but no 
Oh, I think that's spot on. Yeah, I think I think it'll be less a little less challenging. Yeah, if, if you're starting out of the out of the box. And a lot, a lot, the number one thing here, and you know, I always talk about you know the three keys to staying young longer, and that's speed, balance, and range of motion. And this is a range of motion thing. All right, there's a little bit of speed work here. Like you're kind of moving from thing to thing. It's like Michael starts out kind of slow, and then he picks up the speed. You know what I mean? And so what happens as we get older, our anything that we try to do slows down. You know what I mean? We, like what was some statistic that 80% uh, of Americans uh, will never run fast again after the age of 30. They'll just like, that's it. There's no more sprinting. And that's, you know, sprinting, martial arts, and, and animal flow, primal flow is, is a combination of those things, right? Obviously, range of motion is got to, the better your range of motion, the better your flexibility, um, then, then this is going to be easier for you. You know what I mean? If you have tight hips and tight knees and tight ankles and tight everything, it's, it's a bit of a drag, right? So it's not like you can't go on, on, uh, on po the power nation site and find tons of mobility stuff and range of motion stuff and flexibility stuff. And I would, uh, if you are pretty tight, you know, if you are inherently tight and different, like your thoracic is tight or your lo lower lumbar is tight or your hamstrings are tight, this is going to be harder for you. You know what I mean? And, and, the, and the one thing I want to tell everybody too, and Michael would agree with this, is that flexibility can be improved upon if you work on it more. But it's not like the go-to thing that everybody wants to do. They want to lift weights and they want to do cardio. You know what I mean? And those are great because that'll help you live longer. And then you maybe be, you know, be able to do things that you can't physically do without it. But if you really want to be well-rounded and you want to stay as young as you possibly can for as long as you possibly can, range of motion and mobility is is it's kind of should be at the top of the list as opposed to how much I can bench. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. If you're 20, if you're 18 or 19 and you're on the football team, how much you bench matters. The rest of us. It's stupid. Anyway. Well, um, and that'll also open you up to maintaining or increasing your uh, ability to do things as you age as well. Right. Like, you know, I might be able to bench 400 pounds, but if I sprinted, I would, my hamstring would tear off my bone. You know what I mean? So <laughs> if you're doing things where you are maintaining or increasing your flexibility and range of motion and your, and your stability and, and like your core strength and all that stuff, then you're able to like your, your, your freedom to live a life has expanded to a point where you can do more, you know, rather than being more limited as you, uh, as you age. So. So hopefully well. that helps. Yeah, I think I think the meningitis helped your brain. Oh. <laughs> All of a sudden, I've just gotten smarter. This is uh, it's crazy. I want meningitis. Um, here's a great question. Here it says, "I'm fairly new to the Power Nation programs, but just tried Thunder Asunder for the first time. I'll have to master the original program before this one." Ha ha! I was sore uh, for I was sore for an acting booking the next day, but made it through uh excited to push through the next videos oh great that's i love to hear that and an actor good job hmm. good job candace um the mark the march mashup thanks mary that is the new calendar the march mash it's already almost over right obviously it's been out but you know it doesn't have to be march for you to do the calendar um just uh, do my mary stuff don't worry about tony's stuff uh just just stick to what i do yeah yeah, you because I'm, I, I, you'll be fine. I make royalties on whether you do my stuff or Michael's either way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's right. He's making money regardless. So. I, I make less when you when you do your <laughs> thing, but that's okay, dude. I want, I'm here to help. I'm here to, you know, share the love. That's what it's about. Uh, and then Mike, uh, Mary writes her, Michael's program is a two, four, has two four-week calendars. Um, uh, and here's something from Monique from the other group that uh, we don't see here. So, hey, guys, a few questions. One. How long is the program? Okay, we already covered that. Uh, when is it available? We don't know the answer to that, Monique. So you might have to put that up. Uh, wonder what workouts. Wonder what workouts you do for your personal fit. What workouts do you do for your personal fitness, Michael? In general, right now, I, I lay in hospital beds and I have people come in and shoot me up with drugs. Um, um but that's not my, that's you're getting, not my are you getting good results from that <laughs> <laughs> no because i had to go back to the hospital so it, it wasn't really uh, the best results um so the, about, so the question is what do i do for my for my workout routine 
Um, so I, I've kind of changed throughout the year. Cause I like to do a lot of like free running. I don't want to say parkour cause everybody that says they do parkour doesn't do parkour. They just pretend like they do parkour, which I do as well. I'm not, I'm not, I just, I just don't want to be in that category. Um, so like in the, in the months where it's not snowy, cause I live in a place where there's, uh, four seasons, I'll do, uh, like three days a week of, of outside jumping around and, you know, parkour stuff. Um, I'll do, um, <clears throat> um, some strength days as well. Um, like maybe like, a like, a, a three or four strength days. Um, and then I'll do running or biking or hiking or something like that. So, um, that's kind of like my, um, summertime, good weather, uh, work week or yeah, work week. Um, in the winter time, I've been kind of doing like a, uh, uh, full body strength and then I'll focus on one uh one like a like a push or a pull or a, a hinge or a squat um with a with a little extra on each it, whatever whatever day it is I'll do an extra um many sets of those things so I'll do I'll do like um uh 10 really solid reps with a heavy weight of a, a push pull hinge squat um when you mean hinge I'll, you I'll, mean you mean deadlifts and rdls then yeah so yeah so like um and i'll do that i'll do that like five days a week so so i'm not, i'm never maxing out and i'm never going to failure so it's more of like a strength building routine so i'll do like two sets of five or i'll do five three two or i'll do six sets of one um of each one of those um and then i just add weight as i feel like i can lift more weight and um I don't know if you guys have ever done that type of thing, but you can, you can add muscle or not. You, it's not really adding muscle. You can add strength pretty quickly. Like over the course of four weeks, you could bump up like, um, I don't know, maybe like 40 pounds on your lifts or, or 60 pounds. So, so you're adding quite a bit of weight in a short amount of time. And then let's say if it's like a, pu a pull day. So I finish my, my hinge, uh, my pull, push, pull, hinge squat. Um, and then I'll do, a bunch of pull-ups and a bunch of muscle-ups and a bunch of rows or something like, you know, something where it's more of a muscle building. So I'll keep the reps going, pushing closer to failure. Um, and I'll do, uh, uh, you know, maybe like 10 sets or, or have whatever I have time for. Um, and that'll be my pull day with my strength. And then the next day will be maybe a, a hinge day. So it'll be more like deadlifts or good mornings or, or back extensions or hip thrusts or something where my hips are extending um, for the extra reps. And then I still stick to all my strength building stuff. Um, so that's kind of, that's, a, I know I'm rambling on, but I could talk about this for a long time. And then I'll, and then I'll usually go to like a gymnastics place if it's winter time, um, which I usually don't have time for unless it's like once a week or something like that. And I'll go train doing like a parkour gymnastics, you know, flips and, and all that stuff. And then I'm, and then I, I, for me personally, I have to get outside every day. So it's either trail running, regardless of the weather, uh, mountain biking, um, hiking if necessary, you know, like if it's like, you know, six feet of snow, then I'm probably not running. So, um, but that's like, you know, mental, emotional, spiritual well-being is, is kind of where that sits. So, so kind yeah. of like a sort of like a senior citizen uh, training method. Yeah. You could say, yeah, I take, I actually take people from the, uh, from the retirement center. Um, and I, and I push them up the hill, uh, in a sled and, and then we drag them to the gymnastic yeah. studio and you do backflips with them. That's great. <laughs> great. Yeah. Yeah. I just take their wheelchair and I just kind of roll them off the edge. Um, and then we see what happens. Looks like two of Garrett's children are in the middle of some animal flow back there. That was, that <laughs> oh, was I good. can't see anybody. So I, I don't know. Yeah. Oh. They're ready to, they're ready to jump on the primal train. Oh, okay. Yeah. They're, well, get them. They're probably custom, better than custom made me. for it. Uh, here's one from uh, uh, in that same group of questions. Uh, Tony, on the days before skiing, what workouts do you do? Um, you know, it's interesting. I've discovered something. So I, I, I work my legs three days a week, and my least part of my body that I like that, that I train is my legs. I just don't like doing legs. It's painful. You have to do a lot of reps, and it's horrible. And I don't do any kind of, uh, I don't do weights. I don't, I, I mean, I probably should be doing good mornings. And I'm going to talk to you more about that, Michael. More good mornings, more RDLs, Rom Romanian deadlifts, or Ukrainian victory lifts, as I like to call them. Um, 
And and uh, yeah, I just don't work on my posterior chain enough because uh, I can't see it. If I can't see it, why work it? And um, which is wrong. But I do my I do my uh, my about an hour and ten minute cardio circuit, and then I do my my plyo. And then on Fridays, it's been yoga lately for range of motion, and there's plenty of you know warrior one, warrior two, crescent pose reps over and over and over again. And occasionally I'll do something called um, balls and boxes, which is a lot of core and a lot of plyometric leg stuff. And so when I go skiing now at 65, that combination of three workouts I hate um, allows me to ski top to bottom. I mean, I can, I don't get tired anymore. I don't have, and plus the, my, I think my vegan diet has a lot to do with recovery and lack of inflammation and stuff like that. That's helped me a ton. It's been fun. I've never skied so hard and so fast top to bottom ever in my life. It's just like, I feel like I'm going back in time. It's super fun. It's fun because I'll, I'll be, this will be Michael and I get to do this going down the hill. So it's really cool <laughs> to do that. Yeah. No, that's actually that. true. Cause when we were in Jackson, when you met up with us at like two hours left or whatever, I'd skied once that season and uh, my legs on that last run, it was like, it was like, uh, you know, uh, there was a steam train then they were shoveling coal into my quads or something like that. You know what I mean? And you were just like, I don't think you stopped. You just like, didn't stop. Like, didn't stop. Didn't stop. Didn't have to yeah. stop. Yeah. A lot of that is my breathing techniques too. Like a lot of people, there's a lot of tension in it and the terrain is changing. The light is changing. The pitch is changing the snow, you know, you know, North facing, South facing snow. Oh, there's so much in the, so that the, it's, it's like skiing is a series of last second decisions. Um, but the breath, like just, uh oh, I'm feeling a little bit of lactic acid. All I have to do is just oxygen in, carbon dioxide out, and that lactic acid uh, acid dissipates, and I can just keep going. And I also know that you guys are behind me, so it's like I don't care if my blood shoots mm -hmm. my eyes. I'm going to get down here first. But it's fun. It's fun to get to the bottom of the hill, and not ha I'm not breathing heavy. It's just the craziest feeling in the world. It's 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 it's, it's super fun, man. And it's those three days, you know, it's those three days of working out. Gary, uh, will there be modification options for the moves? Yeah, yeah, because I forced you to do it. a lot of power down stuff there. Thanks to Tony. It. What's that? Thanks to you. There's a lot of modifications for. Uh... Yeah, you had to do it for me, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm still not as good at it as you are. Not even close. Uh, yoga has been saving me for these past few months and has allowed to simultaneously power down on primal workouts, yet powering up in the range of motion. Hannah, when there. Um, yes, everyone who has attended this live will get early access at midnight. Do answer. Oh my God. It, oh. What, it, and here's the one thing, and I say this a lot. Don't go, especially if you feel like, oh yeah, I think I'm ready. Or I think I've done, you know, a primal method first. I think I'm ready. Just sit back, grab a cup of coffee and a cigarette and just watch it. <laughs> Just watch it. Or maybe not either one of those two things. And some kind of power life thing uh, would be. Grab a hospital cup. Yeah. And, uh... <laughs> Look at that. Is that where you're supposed to finish that whole thing all day? That... <laughs> oh, my yeah. God. That is that's kind of cool. I think I want one of those. You um, can have one. I have uh, I have multiples now. So oh, do you? All right. Well, I'll fly out to Utah and grab a couple. <laughs> um but yeah, I, I actually, I think it's one of those things where it's it's probably better if you've got some time just to watch them, you know what I mean? And maybe take a note or two and just like a rewind it a couple of times. So when, it, when it's actually scheduled to actually do the routines themselves, uh, you won't be as frustrated because it'll at least there'll be a little bit of a little bit of a memory having just watched it all by itself. A lot of people did that with P90X. They tried to do chest and back and then plyo like this guy's insane. And so, you know, had just like out of the box, they put it in and they just got mad at me. You know what I mean? But the people who just said, I'm going to watch this stuff and go, okay, that I can do, that I can't do, that I can do, that I can't do. So, you know, there's less frustration that way. Anyway, that's what I think. And I would say, uh, let go of the idea of being a perfectionist. Like you're, mm -hmm. you're probably not going to be able to do a lot of this stuff the first time. Um, like I couldn't do a lot of this stuff the first time. You know what I mean? So, um, you know, just, just do what you can do and uh, don't judge it and uh, just enjoy the process. I think I've heard Tony say something like that before. Yeah, that sounds really familiar. I wonder where I... Yeah, I don't know. I probably stole it from somebody else, man. <laughs> I stole that. I stole that. I stole that from my uh, original, my original acting coach. 
you know, because we were oh. we're a very judgmental society, right? We 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 have an expect we, we there's this thing we want to do, we have expectations, it doesn't go the way <laughs> we want, and then we start judging the crap out of it, and then we never do it again, right? Like so that whole everything about that is ridiculous. So we don't you know you learn not to do that anymore because it's going to happen anyway, and the judging it part is what ruins it, you know. And so as soon as you take the judgment away. It's like, oh, okay, I was horrible there, but man, think of the learning curve. Think of the, think, what if I just keep showing up? Like I always use the, ex the example of Jeremy Yost. Some of you may or may not remember Jeremy from, I mean, he, he was almost, he was 380 pounds and he had a fused right ankle from an injury he had foot in high school football. So his ankle didn't do this. It just was locks silly. So, you know, anyway, he ended up doing P90X three times and the first time it was marching in place mostly. And the same thing with Michael's stuff. Like, oh, okay, here's the thing that's come. You can be super frustrated because you're trying it and you can't, or you just let it be and you move on to the next move. And then, you know, you come back again and things become things become more familiar just purely by just seeing them without doing them. And then your brain might eventually, because you're doing the other parts of the program or, the, or parts of a certain routine, your brain will all of a sudden go, oh, the leg goes underneath. I come over. Now I have the shoulder strength and mobility to get into crab and then into bear. Oh, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's when you discover those things. And for me, I've been doing this for 5,000 years and, and animal flow is the first thing where I really felt like, I don't know anything about this and now I can do this. So like this, to be able at my stage of, of fitness, to be able to learn things for the first time that I didn't know existed, that I wasn't very good at. And then I'm slowly improving on and seeing sort of the, the, how it's helping me and everything else I'm doing. It's, it's a, it's pretty cool. What Michael's offering here starting on April 1st is, is, is the bomb. And so again, don't beat yourself up if it's sort of a, you know, sort of stuff. Um, April 1st, is it not, not for fools for sure. I don't know what Garrett wrote there. Uh, Las <laughs> Vegas guy wonders, wait for, wait, there are four seasons. <laughs> oh, Las Vegas guy. Yeah. LA guy. Same thing. We have two seasons, rain and sun. That's, that's what <laughs> um, can I do primal workouts with a lightsaber? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I um, mean, uh, with a lightsaber, just asking <laughs> for the geeks out there. I think he's just asking for a friend. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm sure it's not him with a lightsaber swinging it around his living room. So, mm. Uh, but your friend can you yeah know. your friend can i don't recommend that for you uh, just don't hit the cat or anything yeah or your kids they're next to you uh, yeah. uh get one you can grip between your teeth there you go get us like a mini lightsaber or just get like a rubber knife that'll be kind of fun to do it that way yeah you could do that mm. uh, yeah, my friend it... what michael go ahead oh, i don't I, I was just, I was just making comments Oh, here's a question that Steve asked twice because I forgot the first time. But I, uh, hey guys, is there any equipment required for the program? Bands, weights, etc. You can answer that one, Michael, because I I know there are. Okay. Yeah, um, we tried to keep it as usual to so like a minimal, so like dumbbells. Ideally, if you have a pull-up bar, because a few of the workouts do have uh, pull-ups in them, um, or bands, you know. So so ideally, if you have those things, that'd be great. Um, if you have more, that's even better. You know what I mean? Like if you have a wider range, um, cause I, I do want to say like, like we were kind of talking about earlier, not all the workouts are like full body functional body weight exercises. So on the ones with weights, like, you know, like I can't remember what it's, I think it's called like all about arms or triple a or something like that. Um, on those workouts, you can push, like you want to make the, the things hard that you can make hard um in order to get more results because you're going to get more like muscle hypertrophy the more volume you do and the, the closer you push to failure so you want to be pushing to the point where it's really you know burning not where you're going to get hurt but where where it's really you know uncomfortable so on those ones you ideally you want to you want to have some weights to throw around or some bands and 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 make it hard like those workouts th that shouldn't be a time where you're like sitting back and like i'm going to take it easy because this move's so complicated it's a simple move. What you got to do is just, you know, grunt it out and, and push, push through the pain sort of thing. That's where you're going to get more results on those less complicated, 
more isolated workouts. And and that uh, and just to compliment you again, oh brother, here we go. Um, <laughs> it's easy. You know, my, uh, Michael put those types of of weight slash band moves in separate routines that were less you know less complicated to help you know build that 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 add more muscle more time under tension to create those hypertrophy gains so that when it came to the other routines you were like one complements the other you know like yoga complements whatever chest and back and chest and back complements other routines you know because there's a lot of a lot of muscle strength there there's a lot of core strength there that comes from the routines that are less complicated so you can you can have the uh the energy and the endurance for the tougher ones that makes sense anyway that uh, makes sense to me tony what's that that makes sense to me well so. i don't i don't know if that's why you did it but it certainly appeared that that's the reason why you did it um yeah. and by the way we're going past the half hour you guys are okay with that you're still here so we'll, we'll just keep going because <laughs> there's a lot of great questions here that i think apply to everybody um does michael bradley drink coffee there's a question i don't i i try not to take anything that um i start to get reliant on i mean i know that's you could say that with food or whatever you know what i mean like because you're gonna eventually need water but well, um, food and water is kind of life but caffeine yeah. coffee is you can live without coffee you can't live, you know, that. so I see so many people that they're like, you know, I, I can't function yet. I don't have my coffee or I, I, I miss my pre-workout. So I'm, my workout sucked or whatever. Um, and I've never really been like, you know, I'll get tired, obviously, but like I'm usually pretty good. Like when I when I do a workout or whatever, or when I have to do something, I'm able to kind of make that adjustment regardless of how much sleep I've had or 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 how little stimulants I've had. So I I. I want to keep that, you know what I mean? And I feel like if I start, you know, drinking coffee every day, then I'm going to start to get more reliant on that and, and less able to function without it. So I try not to take really anything that, that stimulates me too much um, just because I don't want to, to rely upon it. And so. to add to that, you know, the one thing, the substitute for caffeine is your mindset and your attitude and your um and your past experiences these are all things that that can help you know inspire and motivate you to push a little bit harder um you know and i think michael's right i i mean i i do a pre-workout once in a while and you know uh you know maybe i sh maybe i should work on my mindset more <laughs> less of my pre-workout but the one the pre-workouts that i take the one that i had with power life had less caffeine than a cup of uh, than a regular old school cup of coffee it wasn't really and a lot of a lot of my pre-workouts are sort of natural there's no caffeine in them you know what i mean the one i'm taking right now is non-caffeinated uh so you know you want to be if you're going to take those kind of pre-workout things or you want to drink coffee i mean coffee i mean i'm working with a guy right now who drinks seven eight cups of coffee a day and the guy has more stomach issues than any person i've ever met in my life and i said you got to get off the coffee and i got him on foundation four and he goes my belly is disappearing i don't have horrible gut pain anymore i go well, dude because you're putting in the good stuff and you're not putting in the crap anymore like hello like i don't know why we just keep on pouring this garbage into our body and hoping it all turns out okay you know um that, that's great advice michael i mean yeah your mindset and and obviously you know, if you got better sleep and had a little mindfulness practice, you probably wouldn't need the coffee. You know what I mean? But that's yeah. just, that's two more things that you have to add to your life that probably don't exist in your life right now. Because coffee is easy, make it, drink it, you know? Um, but then you have to like rely on it because you don't have the other things <clears> that take a little bit more time and effort to figure out. But then once the other things become part of your routine, um, then the, the coffee is ancient history at that point, I would hope. Um, all right, more questions. Oh, Michael. And and I wish you would do this because I would come. Uh, once you're back in action, Michael, any plans to do any in-person camps? Because um, Michael's been at almost all my Paragons. Um, you know, and that's Shauna putting in eight-hour days for, for several months to make sure that happens. All Michael has to do is to show <laughs> up on the, on the plane ticket we bought for him and come here and perform. Yeah, uh, drive a van around LA. That's about all I do. Yeah, and drive a van. <laughs> you know, and be, Which I enjoy, you know, by the way. I know. Well, yeah, you're a, you're a fantastic van. Did you get in the accident or was it Scott that got in the accident? I can't remember. Somebody. It wasn't me, but Somebody. I know that Scott forgot 
people from the uh, That's hotel. Right. <laughs> There's I don't know if anyone else got to pick up. Into a paragon, why, why, are fantastic. Four, why are there only four people in the van? That's weird. Okay. Let's go to Tony's house. Um, uh, boat posture ab crunches equals one or two reps fall off tailbone laugh, reset, reattempt, repeat, eventually fall off tailbone less frequently. I, Dash, you're in your own little fun world, man. I don't. Yeah, that's uh, that's how they do it in Vegas, I guess. You know? uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think <laughs> he was at the blackjack table all night. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> um, Garrett, we expect videos of you with that lifesaver in your mouth. Uh, and he writes, "Ah, yeah, Captain." Um, anyone know if there's a live workout or if if this is a Q and A only? Uh, Brendan, uh, there was going to be one, and maybe you didn't get the second memo, but um, Michael got. Uh, bacterial meningitis and almost died so we decided to let him stay in utah <clears throat> the lab it. workout would not be terribly entertaining i think if uh no no i'd have to be doing cpr on his car yes yeah, to, yeah you know, which you know if you guys are practicing cpr that could be could be a great help you in yeah, the yeah tilt the head move the tongue mm -hmm. listen impressions listen um yeah i could never do cpr on you unless i had like some kind of a saran wrap I just yeah uh, 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 a tarp a uh, kevlar tarp um let's see here's i just got a hot oh good shell answered that for him um uh do you use body health perfect aminos uh, question no. for you Michael? i you got <laughs> mm -hmm. uh I don't know. I've done amino acids uh, as, at some points in my life. I just, I kind of feel like if I eat whole foods, not whole foods, the, the grocery store, but like, you know, a whole food, mm -hmm. um, you're going to get the amino acids you need because you're getting a complete protein. That's kind of my philosophy. So I don't, I don't usually spend money on amino acids. Um, but I know if it, you know, if it's something that you're really passionate about, you know, um, I don't think it's going to do any harm. It might do good, especially with if you think it's doing good, and it, and I'm sure it does some good for you, anyways. So that's probably what I'd say. Ah, so that, uh, Chris is uh, explaining himself here. He says, like Michael said, it's in the challenge struggle where the work happens, the change begins, and where the fun of the workout is found. Hence my boat posture ab crunch comment. Thank you for that clarification. Okay. My friend from Las Vegas. Well, Chris, you're going to love uh, that new ab routine that Tony was in because uh, there's some good moves. Yeah. yeah and you're going to see me struggle <laughs> in it, which is a little a bit embarrassing. But, you know, it's okay. I am human. Um, and look, here we are at, at, at almost an hour. Uh, great questions. Any, any, one last question. Anyone? Anyone in, in the... Uh, uh, let's see. Is this you, Mary? What about at the end of both of our primal evolution calendars? You come and do a live obviously you're better by then I, I think at some point we'll get michael out here to la and we'll shoot one mary i mean you know uh if you know okay. michael's he's probably got a few things to catch up on <laughs> once he's feeling <laughs> um like that one hair sticking out of the, the top of it yeah head. okay that he's that's a top priority thing it's got to be shell's got a similar no shell's pretty yeah. tight it's got tight you know she's been doing it a few years yeah there <laughs> oh no there, it's going up. there you go Alfalfa, um, nice job! Yes. Oh, look at that thing! Let me Man. talk to space really quick. That is some, you got uh, some sturdy locks, my friend. That's <laughs> impressive. <Yeah. laughs> it's just, yeah. If if that's not the look of a guy who's been in and out of the hospital, I don't know what is? <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. yeah. Oh, by the You've way, been in the wait, hospital, haven't you? Wait a minute. How'd you find out? That's that. That's yeah, what's look going. At that. that ain't bad. I thought it was going to be worse than that, man. You're all. But my eczema, my eczema is pissed off. That's why. And look at that. Uh, 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 a, a burst of wind. Where am I? And this happened. Oh, look at you. You are. If Tim, that's why Tim was so yeah. enamored by you, because he hasn't had that look since he was 21 <laughs> years old. Tim and I share, share the same hairdo is what we, uh, is what we yes. do. Yes. He's, he's going to miss that he uh, didn't get to see the full <laughs> well of awesome moment. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I'll have to send him some pictures. Well, I think we're recording this, so Tim can just always play this back and watch it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Good. Shell, I love your... Is that your garage? Is that what that is? Yeah. 
And what's my that garage, little room? There's some stairs that go up. What's that behind it? Is that just sort oh, of- Oh, that's like the, into the kitchen house. family room area. Yeah. Mm. Look so. at that row down there. Are those kettlebells or dumbbells in the bottom row? Um, There's some kettlebells down mm. there. See? Look at that. that everyone's house should have some version of that. You know what I mean? You too, Mary. Look at that. You just, and that's the one thing, you know, when Michael's program comes out in a couple hours, uh, create that inviting space. You know, somebody's like, some people just don't have a very good space. You know what I mean? Like if there's any other stuff that's in the room other than fitness stuff, you know, half library, half bedroom, half, you know, kitchen, plus some dumbbells in the corner, it's not as an, as an inviting. And I mean, everybody has limited space. I get that. But if you do have a bunch of ancillary non-fitness stuff in the room and you have some kind of a closet you can put it in or some other room, get it out and make that space all about that that room. You know what I mean? Open and inviting and, and you know, get in there with a dust cloth once in a while and clean off the, the blood, sweat and tears every every third Thursday, you know, whatever mm. it takes. Yeah. Clean off the bacterial meningitis. Yeah, get the bacterial meningitis out. Dude, you're yeah. going to be working out with gloves on <laughs> and a mask the rest of your life. Yeah. Full body hazmat suit. Yeah, so Mary writes, even his hair is strong. Uh, what's the major, <laughs> here's the last question. I'll end, I'll answer, I'll finish with this, Michael. What's the major difference between animal moves in this program versus the original? Okay. Um, I'll answer the next one too, which is, uh, what's the number one thing you can guarantee by doing this program? Mm. Um, those kind of, cause they kind of go hand in hand. Yeah, um, so the animal movements are, there's a lot of building upon what you've already learned in the first program. If you've done the first program. So like, if you've done primal method, you're going to do, you know, like the primal method move, but we're going to add on something on top of that movement, um, to make it a little bit more challenging, um, or a little bit more fun. So, um, I would say that's probably, uh, the, the difference. And then, and then there's some new moves. Um, but it's, it's all kind of like building blocks, you know, like kind of like Legos. So you, know, you can put different things together and in where, in my opinion, the magic of, uh, of animal movements is being able to kind of just free form it and just kind of play with it. You know what I mean? So, um, that's what I like to do is I just like, you know, like, let's see, uh, I'll do 30 second rounds or 45 second rounds and just do whatever I want. And I'll just move and just kind of, uh, you know, like an interpretive dance. Um, so that's, that's kind of where, where I would like, you know, you guys to go is to kind of just start to play with it, like, uh, get back to playing, um, with, uh, with what your body can do. Um, I don't really necessarily, uh, uh, Jeanine Ruska. I think, I don't know, that's a hard name to say. Um, she asks, uh, what do you guarantee from doing this program? I don't, I don't want to make any like guarantees. Um, I would say that, uh, you know, if you're consistent with it, with any program, you're going to see results. You're going to see, you know, reduced uh, body fat. You're going to see increased muscle mass. You're going to see increased range, range of motion. At least in, with the primal evolution, you're going to see increase of all those different things. So um, I would say, um, you know, stay stay doing your best as tony says like even if you're doing 20 percent of the workout do that the best you can if you can do 100 percent of the workout do that the best you can so you're not just like going through the ring going through the motion because you could go through the motion on anything and not see any results you really you do need to put the work in um once you show up so you know 80 percent of life is showing up 20 percent is i don't know what tony says uh is uh, paying, paying attention. attention to what's actually happening while you're in yeah. the midst of doing it. Yeah. There you go. So, so make sure you get the mm -hmm. extra 20% because, you know, 80% is showing up, but then you got the extra 20%. So, um, you know, then you're going to see some results across the board. And um, I want to say before we, before we close, one thing that I really like about this program is it's something that, that you could do until you die. Like, you know, cause I like to do a lot of high intensity stuff. Like I like to ski with Tony or a mountain bike or, or do free running and parkour and stuff like that. Um, and sometimes that hurts my knees. Sometimes it hurts my back. You know, sometimes I can't do it because it, I'm, I'm too hurt, but I always in my mind, I'm like, well, I can always go do animal flow. You know, I can always go, um, you know, put a functional workout together and I can do that until I'm 127. So um, that's what's cool about this program is that you can 
um, you can always do the workout and feel great afterwards. And you can come back the next day and do it again. It's not one where you have to, um, you know, recover for a week. Um, and then, and then you can hit it hard. So I think it's, I think personally, it's a, it's a great, uh, program for longevity as well as, as health and well-being and fitness and performance and so on and so forth. So. Michael Bradley, um, two things I want to say. One, uh, I can guarantee this if you do this program. And, I mean, you know, and, and Michael said 80% of life is showing up. Let's say you weren't paying attention that much uh, or, or pushing harder, you know, past that 80% of just being in the room and doing it. I, I guarantee that you'll have improved range of motion. That's it's it's kind of automatic. I mean, if you do, if you just be there and do whatever you can do, your range of motion will improve, and so all the all other aspects of your fitness will, will improve because of just that one thing. Um, your strength will improve, and and your and your balance will improve because this is going to challenge you in all those categories and even more. Uh, so that that's what's unique about it, and it doesn't require you know it requires some space, but not a lot, and it doesn't require a lot of equipment, but not a lot. And and then, you know, there's the Michael factor, too, is that he's very, very, very good at what he does. I mean, it's you know, he started many years ago doing his own thing. And I met him in a ski resort and then um, well, he was just a participant and uh, uh, and they became a fake son shortly thereafter that. Now I'm stuck <laughs> with him for the rest of my life. But I'm very glad about it. He's, he's just like, you know, I'm, I feel very fortunate that I've gotten to meet certain people, you know, and and. Uh, you know, like I've met I've met uh, Jason and I've met Garrett and and other folks and Mary's at my house all the time. Oh, good God, you know, um, <laughs> but uh, she's a love. And then Terry, I feel like I know Terry to a certain extent, you know, what I mean, over all these years through one means and Hannah's as well. You know, um, Hannah, what is your call on, on Instagram? Because I know that's you, but I don't think it's you. So I get nervous if it's you or not. What who, what do you call yourself? So on that one's becoming. Say it again. That wants me coming. Okay, good. So now I can just bug you more. Um, <laughs> and last but not Go least, for it. Michael, I'm, I'm, you know, I love you, dude. I mean, I really mean that from the bottom of my heart. We're, you know, we have this sort of a sarcastic, kind of funny, goofy relationship, and you know, my wife Shauna is is in love with you as well. Not that way, but in the platonic way. And just, um, and we're just so glad that you've recovered. I I didn't know whether you know you'd be like you know <laughs> all kinds of messed up not know your own name, not know who I am, not be able to put a sentence yeah. together. But obviously you've, you know, you've been through hell. If you guys really heard what he was saying prior, you know, I mean, it makes my Ramsey Hunt sound, sound like I had a common cold. You know what I mean? Like he was, I mean, I thought I was going to die, but you could have died based on what you were going <laughs> So, so, uh, but you're such a bull that you've beaten the odds and you're here. And, and, and uh, secondly, that's my first thank you that you're okay. And, you're still way too freaking handsome, you punk. And um, and thank you for this program because this is a this is a unique, special thing that's going to really, really, you know, push people to their limits, but create you know tremendous change, uh, physical, mental, and emotional change. Not only because of what it is, but because uh, of the of the learning part of it. You know, the learning curve that'll come with it. And uh, you know, and anything that's challenging like that is going to create change, guaranteed. You know, so any final words from you, dude? Um, I just uh, thank you for letting me have the opportunity to, to make it. You know, it's it's really cool to have the platform where you can come and share some things that are really meaningful to you with uh, with a lot of cool people. Um, and you make that possible. Like I wouldn't you know, I wouldn't have this opportunity without you. So um, I really appreciate you taking the time and the money and investing in me. Um to do this because otherwise, you know, I would never have this. So um, let's give a, let's give a round of applause for Tony Horton and Shauna oh, Horton oh, oh, oh. and their, and their, their oh. wonderful, wonderful program that they've created here. So. Well, you know, I mean, <laughs> COVID was pretty horrible <laughs> for a lot of people for a lot of reasons, but without it, this would, none of this would exist. Those beta groups would have existed and, you know, they were all just kind of bored, stuck in our house. So we, you know, Sean, I'm like, well, hey, let me, look how many things are sitting around. Let's make it for real. And now here it is. Um, and, and by the way, thank all of you. Uh, some that I can see, some that I can't see, because you're the ones that are, you know, who are signed up monthly, year, or whatever it is that you're, and you like the content. And, you know, we, we, we can't even tell you the behind the scenes 
work and headaches and and problem solving and and fires that need to be put out you know mary knows she's been, been on the inside it's not easy uh you know we're not unlike beachbody or peloton or the companies you know we've got 10 employees i never thought i'd have 10 employees in my life but you know everybody's kind of scrambling and you know people come and people go because you're always trying to you know improve things but we think our social media folks are good we think our people who are you know working on acquisition and memberships are good and and we certainly know the content is good. We had we had our friend Chris here uh, doing the sound uh, for um, Ashley's dance program, and he's not cheap, man. He was he was the guy at Beachbody. He was the guy at Tonal, and you know I've known him over the years. So he was here making sure that you know that the sound was good. I mean, bad sound and no and crappy music. We had to pay for music, obviously, because Ashley's thing is all music based. Uh, but we're super proud of that program. And that's going to come out first before Tasha's. But it's it's an all-girl week. And both these women knocked these things. I mean, I was just sitting there like I'm the director, right? And I got my little cue cards on a whiteboard going. And I didn't have to do anything. Like they had rehearsed, uh, Ashley had rehearsed the hell out of it. Mary's in it. And Mary met one of her dreams to be in a dance video, which she's had as a kid, but she got sick and then was never able to do it. She talked about it at Playa the other night with tears coming down her eyes. I mean, these are these are beautiful things. This is this is just it's fun to create that. And and we don't do the we don't do the I'm not going to name names of companies who do it, but you know who I'm talking about. We don't create BS programs that are all about before and after photos and we're not trainers with are taking steroids and weird crap. And, you know I mean? It's very authentic. It's an authentic, real crew. I mean, I don't need to bash other people. I know. I mean, I didn't say anybody in particular, but I don't need, I shouldn't do that at all. But we, you know, our, ours is all about integrity and fun and accessibility and, and creating not just physical change for your ego and in, in the mirror uh, and, and the compliments from others, but, you know, making changes inside of you so that you can be a better human and share, share that, that goodness with the people around you who need you, you know what I mean? So, um, and then Tasha's thing too was, I mean, watching Tasha do her thing was <laughs> just insane, man. Mary knows it was just like eye poppingly entertaining. Like I told Tasha, I said, you've never done this before. You're already better than me. I mean, <laughs> Like she just did. I mean, she's been teaching track workouts since she was a kid. You know, I mean, I've been at UCLA with her, watching her do her thing. I mean, she's on par with Michael. You know what I mean? That kind of ability to be able to transcend what it is that she's doing. So they're all coming out here in 2024, and we're excited about that. And we're super excited for you, Michael. Yours is coming out soon, which means you'll be able to feed your wife and child next month when everybody's doing your stuff. Yes. Um, <laughs> Right. I'll be able to pay. I'll be able your to pay medical hospital. bills. Yep, I'll That's be able to good. pay your medical bills now. <laughs> I'll be able Anna, to pay what... for this cup right here. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. That it looks like a thirty dollars plastic cup right there. Yeah, right. Um, yeah. Thank you, everybody, so much, Michael. Thank you. Uh, by the way, we're this close to cracking our 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 two thousand membership. So, if any of you have any friends that are sort of curious, like get on. The first two weeks are free. Do that first month. Um, you know what I mean? And, and the more members we have, the more people we can help and the more diapers Michael can buy for his child. <laughs> is she passed diapers or is she still diapers? No, she's still diapers, but then we got the other one coming in July. So what? Wait, yeah, I told you that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh my God. Yeah. Another one. <laughs> Boy or girl, do you know yet? Uh, we're not finding out, so it'll be a. Super oh, it's just going to be like you're going to. So you're not. You're not going to have a pink reveal or a blue. You're just going to have like a purple, like a yeah, like a, prince, be a prince party. It'll right? be an olive green reveal or something like that. Oh my god! If it's a boy, I feel sorry for that kid, man. I'm trying to think <laughs> like, we both yeah. think it's a boy, so um, oh, all right. you know, yeah, we'll yeah. When he's thirty, he still won't be able to keep up with you, which is like, <laughs> that's the plan, you know. Yeah. But we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Oh, look, look, there's your boyfriend back there, Michael, behind Shell. Oh, and I can't boyfriend. see anybody, so. Oh, you can't. Well, it's uh, Tim. Is, is that Tim? Is that Tim? It's, yep. But uh, Tim, Tim. <laughs> I mean, I'm not one the boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Tim's the boyfriend. <laughs> um, all right, everybody. Uh, I got to go check on Ashley. She's doing her instructional work uh, videos today. And uh, 
She's knocking those out of the park. She's probably on to her third one already, so I better get down there and check it out. Michael, glad you're feeling better, man. Love you like family, and uh, congratulations on this new program, and everybody else uh, enjoy. It's going to be a good one. So. Thank you, guys. Love you, Tony. You, Love you all. Thank you. Glad you're feeling better. Thank you. Thank you. Good Thanks, Michael. You Thank you. See you, dude. Come out and see us once you're once you're yeah. I'll once come the out. IV is out of your arm and going into your Thank heart. You. Yeah, yeah. Once I yank that thing out, I'll come. Yeah. I'll come see just, you. just rip it out. See how that probably <laughs> feels. fantastic. That's like I hear a lot of blood comes out if you do that. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that doesn't right. that doesn't make me feel very good inside. Um, yeah. Just have Garrett come over there and wave the lightsaber over it. Yeah. Move. Oh. He yeah. could cauterize it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. I'll I'll be down. Oh my gosh. You guys, I love you. Thank you. See you all soon. Uh it's the weekend. Get your workouts in and eat your veggies. Get off your coffee. All right. Happy Hand Easter. Just one cup a day. So oh. Good to go. All right, everybody. Thank you all so much. We'll see you next time. Later, all. Bye. Bye, Michael. Thank you, dude.